Now, if you really wanna grow your business, then Facebook ads, it's just the biggest and best way to do it. So it's got 3 billion monthly active users and the ability to really niche down on your target ideal customer so well that nothing beats it for long-term growth. So instead of just talking about it, I wanna first show you what's possible. So what you're looking at right now is our Salesforce CRM. It's just a database we use, but we track how much revenue actually comes in from this marketing method known as Facebook. So if I scroll down here, as you can see me scrolling down, there's so many different records and things that we track, different ad campaigns. You can see total revenue generated is over $8 million. This is over $8 million in the bank of using Facebook ads over the last, I would say, almost decade. And we've spent about a million, million and a half in Facebook ads in that time. So you could see now the ROI of what I talk about, getting a 500% return on every dollar you spend, it's easily doable. You can see it's more than that. The problem is that Facebook ads can be really confusing for people. It's like a black box and they don't really know what happens in order to get a return. That's why I decided to release this special video of me placing a Facebook ad live on stage in front of about 250 people. By the way, because Facebook actually owns Instagram, the exact same steps you use to place a Facebook ad is the same steps as you use to place an Instagram ad and advertise to the over 1 billion monthly active users on Instagram. So my hope is that in releasing this video, when you see the exact steps of someone placing an ad and someone talks you through it, You'll see that it's easy and it's all just a bunch of clicking and typing and more importantly, totally doable for you. Now, someone shout out their product or service, anything at all. Someone shout out their product or service. Kids clothing. What was it? Kids clothing. kids clothing. Okay, what kind of kids clothing? Anything specific? Uh, Baby what? and Babies and toddlers. What's so different about your specific kids clothing than other people? Uh. <laughs> this is where it gets a bit difficult, isn't it? <laughs> They're more unique. Give me, give me a, a feature or a benefit that makes it different to other toddler clothing. USP, that's right. Around cuteness. Okay. Around cuteness. Go to Kmart. Probably don't want to go to Kmart. I'm going to place an ad right now just so you know how easy... The ad, the ad placing process can be. I'm just going to do it in front of your eyes, just so you know what's included. So I click here, create. Here are all the dif different objectives. What's it called? Here are all, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Here are all the different objectives I could pick. Most times, nine times out of 10, we want to click conversions. You don't want traffic. You don't want brand awareness. Just take my word for it. You want conversions. The other, night, the other one time out of 10, you might want leads instead of conversions. I named the campaign something. I'm going to call it Test Kids Clothing. One time I did this on stage and I actually ran the ad because I forgot to turn it off. And we got two clicks for a dollar each for an ad that didn't really make too much sense at the time. <laughs> it was hilarious. All right, so you could say something like purchases, which is what we want in this example. I'm going to hit continue. So that was the name of the campaign. It was called Test Kids Clothing. Now the ad set. The audience, who you're targeting, is determined in the ad set. So now I'm going to call it something like, are we going for mothers or fathers? Mothers. mothers. Age range? Let's call it 30. I'm going to call it 34 to 54. Yeah? That's a typical sweet spot for a lot of um, ages. I'm just going to make that assumption. 34 to 54. Probably, it's true. Now that we're on mothers, wrong thing. Let's call it 28 to 38. Much better. We're doing toddlers. I totally forgot. 28 to 38. All right, all right, all right. So have a look. Purchasing. I've got a whole bunch of audiences that I could use. Like they're all here because I've done stuff in the past. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to assume they're done from scratch. Australia, I'm going to assume it's Sydney. So I'm going to type in here, Sydney City. Then there's a little circle there. If you can't see, you can adjust how many kilometers away from Sydney and depending on, the lowest you go is 17, depending on how many kilometers, it actually draws a circle around how far that will be. So that'll take me all the way to whatever that is, past the Parramatta River, 17 kilometers. I do the age range here. This is where I choose, what did we have? 28 to 38, I think we said. 28 to 38. As I'm doing this, you probably can't see, but on the right-hand side, it says my potential reach. I can potentially reach 1.1 million people. 
That's way too much. As a very rough rule of thumb, if you want to spend $10 a day, have a reach of 10,000 people. If you want to spend $100 a day, have a reach of 100,000 people. It's very rough. It's very rough. You paying $10 a day for ads. Yeah. You pay as many people see the ad. Doesn't matter about clicks, doesn't matter about conversions. You're paying to see the ad, and hopefully, your ad is so good that you're getting results. So, anytime Facebook shows the ad to 100,000 people or whatever it is, you're paying for that number of people. It's called impressions. It's called imp- As a general rule, that's how it works. I know for some people in the room, if you're marketers, it gets a little bit trickier. But if I start to go tricky and every what if, what about this, what about that, <laughs> we'll never get anywhere in about four hours' time. Does that make sense? All right, so we had women there. Language, leave that blank. By default, it's English already, so that's fine. Here's where we start to get interesting, the detailed targeting. You could say who you want to include and who you want to actually exclude. So there's so many different things that you could spend a lot of time on this. Not Mother Teresa, not Mother Care. <laughs> so what's, what's a popular website that a mother might go to? A, what is it? Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Give me something else because I don't want to confuse it with a musical. Kidspot. So if we go to something like Kidspot right there, you can see 1.16 million people are interested in Kidspot. But how many of those are female between the age of this and that in Sydney? 540,000. It's still too much. We can get more targeted than that. We could add something else. I could exclude something. So give me something else that's very interesting. Not very interesting. That a mother would be interested in. Toys are right. What's a clothing brand that's massive? Bonds. All right. So she's interested in Kids Spot. She's also interested in Bond's clothing. So now we start to narrow even further. It's still pretty big. The more we add of these, you can get it down to something very specific. If I do something very specific, by the way, Mother Nature. Oh, these are all adding. So you can also narrow the audience by saying they must be interested in either Bond's or Kids Spot. And we need to have them interested in something like, um, I'm going to call it organic. What's something organic? Just organic compound. Let's say that was organic clothing. I want to speed up this process. On the right-hand side, it would start to to narrow. So must also match at least one of the following. Yeah, you could do anything you want. Baby formula, whatever it is. But it has to have relevance to your ad. Does that make sense? I I typed in organic because I'm thinking the ad I want to place is organic clothing for kids. That's why I'm going down that path. So you can start to personalize your ad. I'm going to leave all of these things blank. Budget $20 a day. Yes, that's nice. All of these things. That's how much I wanted to spend and who's seeing the ad. The next step is the actual ad, what it looks like. I choose the Facebook page, Instagram account. Instagram, by the way, if you're doing Instagram, it has to be a 60-second video or less or it has to be a photo. 60-second video or less or a photo. That's it. If your video is 61 seconds, you can't advertise it on Instagram. I'm going to do a single image. I can look at free stock images here. So I'm going to put mother, uh, let's say mother baby clothes. So I'm going to do something and let's call it this one. You can start to split test specific ads. So I'm going to pick that particular one with that girl. I'm going to pick this one here with this mother and baby. Whatever it is, there's heaps of them. All right, let's have a look. If we scroll down, this is where you actually enter in your website URL. So the page they go to once they click this ad. By the way, there's a thing called lead ads. What's it called? I'm not going to go through it now, but you can create and grab people's details on a form that lives on Facebook. You don't need a website to place ads. With lead ads, you can grab people's details without having a website. Raise your hands if you don't have a list and you want to start one from scratch. There's another thing you could do. It's called video views. You could show videos to people and based on those people that watch three to ten seconds at least of those videos, you can create a list very quickly for cents in the dollar using another strategy. I don't have time to go through all the strategies. Here is where you put your text. So if I was to look at this right now, I would say something like, want cute clothes for your toddler? What's your company name? True Blue Kid. Good name. One cute clothes for your toddler. 100% organic clothing, allergen free, tested. And by the way, you got to back this up. I don't know about kids' clothing, so I'm just going to put like tested by NASA. 
<laughs> Whatever it is, right? Tested by NASA. You could put a headline. Um, new range out now. Learn more. And here on the right-hand side is actually what it looks like. In case you didn't know, your Facebook... I'm going to scroll this over to the side. Your Facebook ad... An Instagram ad, you choose that in Instagram. If I click this drop-down box, Instagram feed is just one of the selections, along with right column desktop, desktop news feed, instant article. There's all these different what they call placements, but Instagram is just one of them. And in order to qualify, video, 60 seconds or less, etc. And then you can scroll through. Here is what it will look like in mobile news feed. Here's what it looks like on a feature phone, desktop news feed, instant article, on the right-hand side column, Instagram feed, and you can see, all right, that all looks good. You scroll down, you hit confirm. I'm not going to hit it now because I don't want this ad to go live. Um, and then people start coming to your site. That's about as quickly as I could do it for you. So I hope now you can see that Facebook ads, they're really easy when someone shows you the exact steps and talks you through it. And that means for you, though, Attracting clients in your business is easy too when someone shows you the exact steps. But the massive problem is, you know, all of the gurus and speakers out there, I just don't see them doing this live on stage. Why don't they do that? Two reasons. Number one, either they don't know how or two, they're just not confident enough to do it because they don't do the marketing day in and day out. And that's a massive problem because now you're learning from someone who actually doesn't do the marketing every day. That's why once a year, I like to come out of hibernation from actually being behind my computer doing the marketing with a serious resting face. And I actually like to get out in front of people and teach others at a free marketing course that I put together called Marketing Made Easy. What I'm actually gonna show you is what's working in marketing right now in the current economic climate, and also the steps on how to get a 500% return on your marketing, even if you're starting from scratch, even if you feel that you're not tech savvy or you're on a budget. So it's not just Facebook ads, by the way. I go through an overarching three-step, what I call linear process, three sequential steps you need to follow in order to attract clients predictably using things like, of course, Facebook ads, but social media, Google, email, and Zoom. So if you want to learn marketing you know, directly from someone who's actually got been there, doing it every day, experience all the way since 2009, then you can learn more about this Marketing Made Easy course or get a free ticket by clicking the link in this post or going to authentic.com.au forward slash marketing. Now, this course, by the way, is for three types of people. Number one, any service provider like coaches, consultants, practitioners, healthcare professionals, if you wanna get fully booked out and predictably attract clients, then this is for you. Speakers, so if you've got courses or if you just wanna have things like info nights, retreats, workshops, webinars, in order to promote your product or service, this is definitely for you. And number three, business owners. If you wanna get in front of your ideal client and customers, sell more products and services on a regular basis, then I can definitely help you. Predictability is the main thing. For a long time in our organization, I didn't know what was gonna happen with the marketing. It was just random. I want it to be predictable, and now even the next level of that, be bankable. So you can take that to the bank essentially and say, I know how many clients I'm gonna get next month, next year, etc." And that level of freedom, that level of certainty is just going to be awesome for your business. So to learn more or to get your free ticket, just click the link in this post or go to authentic.com.au forward slash marketing. And until we meet again, just remember, you don't have to get it right, you just have to get it started.